people like to comment that you know that person is just weak or our current generation don't know how to handle stress Hi guys, I'm Meilin. I'm an NTU student. Hi, I'm Sean. I work in the police force. My name is Ima. I'm a student at LaSalle. I'm Yun Yi. Hi guys, I'm Hilda and I'm a student. I'm Edward and I'm a civil servant. And we are volunteers from Project It Be Alright. And we're here today to talk about mental health. Project It Be Alright is actually a volunteer group under the Youth Mental Wellbeing Network to reach out to youths to help um, tackle mental well-being issues. I had a classmate. She was beginning to hear voices in her head for a period of time telling her to kill herself. Um, and then she broke down in class. I was sitting next to her. So what I did uh, at that point in time was to just spend some time and listen to what she was saying. Subsequently, I also directed her to the proper resources where she could get help. So I kind of like had a bicycle collision accident and shattered my collarbone. Surgery and the recovery process, it was quite traumatic for me. I decided to see a counsellor. He identified the things for me, so like he said that it was partly trauma and partly grief as well. One of the misconceptions that I've heard about mental health is that it's something that could be cured or solved in a snap of fingers. People also like to think that we can easily snap out of it and just why can't we just pull it together and behave normally? In their social media, they may be posting uh, content that tends to be a bit more sad, pessimistic, depressive, like music. Some of them might also be, have mood swings, so maybe when you are meeting in a group, they might suddenly become silent as well. Sometimes they might also cancel on your plans last minute. I think very important to like just kind of like build rapport with them and slowly ease them into it and drop a question like, um, some people like say that going to a counsellor helps, like uh, what do you think about seeing a counsellor about these issues. It's important uh, for people to have conversations about mental health uh, because it's something that has been swept under the rug for quite some time. So by talking about it, it normalises it, it destigmatizes it, and it makes situations a more, uh, more healthy place to live in. Firstly, to be open, uh, to encourage conversations. Try not to be judgmental about the things that they say and also know about mental health um, illness. Don't be ignorant, like read about it like, or Google it. Um, people need to know that it's not that they want it, it's something that happened to them and it's something that they are dealing with it and they're trying to overcome it. Never say no to yourself. It's always yourself that's holding you back from the opportunities that can come by. The way you speak to yourself matters. Yeah. So, um, if you uh, speak to yourself with kind words and positive words, and definitely um, your day will be better instead of like you know trying to uh, think of negative things. Mental health is as important as our physical and emotional health. We cannot downplay uh, the existence of it in our life. Light is at the end of the tunnel. 